we're going to be doing a problem from the 2018 Mass Counts National Competition. This problem states that in square unit asks, in square units, what is the area of a triangle with vertices P at negative 1, 1, Q at negative at 3, 8, and R at 9, 3? Express your answer as a decimal to the near tenth. Okay, so first of all, this problem looks like is it obviously has to do with coordinates. You might be thinking, oh, we can just split the triangle into parts and then you'll be able to figure it out. But that's not the easiest way to do it. The easiest way to do this, and the quickest way as well, is using the shoelace theorem. Now, first of all, you might be thinking, that's a weird name for a theorem. Why is it called that? Well, I'll be, I'll, I'll be showing you why it is. So in this triangle here, I had, in this triangle was the area A. This has it has vertices of x one y one y two y two x two y two and x three y three. The this the area of this triangle over here is B. The area of this triangle over here is C. The area of this triangle over here is D and the area of the entire rectangle is r. So so obviously we we can figure out that a is obviously r the total minus all the other triangles. Well, since all the other triangles are right triangles, we can we can we can use one half base time, base time height. The area of the rectangle is this as followed because this is x1, x, y, is y1 minus x2, and this over here is x2 minus x3. I'm not going to be explaining all the other ones, but all you need to know is that each matches up with the one over here. So this is r, so this is r, and B is over here, so B is over here, and so on. You can pause the video if you want to, if you want to understand how I got all these numbers. So, by now we have this. This is really long. I almost couldn't fit it on this page. So, we can if we expand these out and simplify and cancel like terms. We get this equation over here. I if, since a lot of it actually cancels with each other, and you're left, and all this is multiplied by one half. Trust me, I did all the hard work. <laughs> so now you have this equation over here. Well, something interesting about this is that if you use the actual shoelace formula, then you'll get the exact same thing. And the actual shoelace formula is that. You get you put you put parentheses over here, and then you put all the coordinates. Whoops, you put all the coordinates so that it lines up with each other, with each other, and you repeat the last, the first, the first two. If you multiply all this out, like like so, in a shoelace pattern. Doesn't that look like shoelaces? Then you'll get the same thing as same thing as this. The reason for this is that look, x. This is all multiplying each other, by the way. So since x, mm, let's circle that. X one and y one are both over here. X two y, x two y three is over here. X x3 y1 is here. I just realized I didn't do it. Whoops. And so on for the others. Now it really doesn't matter the order as long as as long as these th three are group, whoop, grouped together and these three are grouped together as well with one subtracting the other. It doesn't matter which one you subtract but you have to make it so that but there is absolute value around it, even though there's no absolute value in the equation. This is because obviously area, 
an area of anything has to be positive, so that's absolute value. So that's how you explain her uh, shoelace formula theorem. Let's put it in this problem over here. So let's draw the brackets. Mm, oops. Mm. And write the numbers. Uh, minus two, one, three, eight, nine, three, minus two, one. I made the brackets too small. Whoops. Ignore that. Okay. So now let's let's multiply them. I'm gonna be multiplying these two together, these two together, these two together, and then subtracting by this, this, and this. You'll get. 3 plus 72, 8 times 9, plus 6, 3 times, oh, not plus 9, plus 6, sorry. Minus 6, sorry. Minus 6. 3 times negative 2. Minus, minus 16, minus 2 times 8, plus 9, 3 times 3, plus 9, 9. 9 times 1. Divide it all by 2. And put absolute value. Then you'll get 70, 67 divided by 2, no, which is equal to 33.5. And there you go. There's your answer. You've done, you've done this problem in, so much quicker than you could have done without the shoelace form theorem. Hopefully, th this will help you in the future as well.